and welcome back. I am back, but this time with a hair tutorial. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the beachy wavy hair look using the classic waver. I found this very hard to use because I have coarse, thick, thick hair. I mean like this is just half of my hair. I have side cuts. I have a lot of texture and layers <laughs> and there's still so much of it and so when I try to follow other tutorials I just find they don't work for me and the only way I've been able to learn is to get creative and experimental and try new techniques and so this is what works for me and if it works for you that makes me happy so let's get started. So obviously the first step is to take down your hair and get ready to have a little bit of fun and I need to add some product to my hair. First, I'm actually going to add some detangler to get rid of any knots because my hair gets tangled quite easily. I haven't brushed it today if I'm being honest. Please don't tell anyone. <laughs> Start by detangling. If you need dry shampoo, anything like that. Leave-in conditioner if your hair isn't very moisturized so that you're starting with a nice clean slate and I ridiculously love this and I got this for free from one of the airlines when my flight was late they gave me like a little overnight package and I just feel like it works great in my hair so I just start at the bottom and work my way up I need to part my hair Next, you need your heat protection. I kind of concentrate it near the ends. And then I just put a little bit in my hands. Then I kind of just shake it through the rest of my hair. And then I'm gonna get in another brush because you want that product dispersed evenly. So before I start, I like to style my bangs because however I'm clamping my hair, that's how I want my hair to sit. So it's good to style the bangs first. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to separate my hair. I'm kind of messy with the sections. I don't try to get equal layers or anything like that. I find that it just helps it sit more naturally on my head. I put the temperature on this as hot as my hair can handle it, minus one. So that's usually around 360 for my hair. But the trick is that you're not going to hold it very long. You only need to grab about one half to one inch sections. Holding it about three seconds per spot. Do you see how that's sitting kind of like really naturally? And the waves look a little bit undone, but they still have that kind of uniform, very neat looking wave. I am loving this. All that's left now is to shape the hair. And what I mean by that is you'll notice I left kind of the top section. These two sections that are gonna fall on each side are a little bit thinner because I'm gonna use those sections to really shape the hair. And I'm gonna take out the bangs and then we're gonna wave the hair in the direction of where the bangs are sitting so that we get a nice finish and swept look at the front. You'll see my part isn't too neat. Again, I'm going for that beachy, undone kind of look, maybe a little bit wind blown, you know, wind in the hair, nothing more glamorous. Take very small sections like this small. And can you see how grabbing just those small pieces gave a little bit more bump to the root and helped those pieces kind of blend in with the rest more naturally? And then these two bang pieces, it looks, yeah, like two. Do you see how it's going back like that? That is how I'm going to do it. And I go one, two, and then pull away. And then the last piece, you hold it how you want it to sit in the hair. It looks so intense. <laughs> Just trying not to burn myself. 
I'm gonna put a wave spray in my hair. The product says to use it all over your hair before styling, but I like to just scrunch products in with my hands. I like to feel my hair. It gives me a good sense of how much product I'm using and what the texture is going to be like. Next, I'm just gonna use a glossy shine mist. It is meant to be misted onto the hair, but I'm gonna apply it into my hands again, just because it gives me a good sense of how much product I'm using. And then I have more precision with where I'm applying it so I could get the shine just perfect. And that is it. Nice, shiny, undone waves that just look so natural.